Hello nieces and nieces, how are you today? Welcome back to the channel. I want to thank you guys for coming back to the channel. My name is Savings Fashionista. She is I and I am her. You have arrived to Nisa's Nation and over here we do mainly things fragrances, whether it is body or home. And today you guys, we are here to do a fragrance review. And this fragrance will come from my number one, my most favorite fragrance house. So if you're interested in that type of content, please stay tuned. All right, today you guys, we are going to do a fragrance review. So go ahead, give the video a thumbs up and go ahead and share it. So we are here to talk about my number one. Let's just do a quiz. What's my number one and my most favorite brand of perfume? If you said bun number nine, you are absolutely right, you guys. So yes, so bun number nine, we have been in a bun for what? It's 2021. I started in 2009. So maybe about 11 or 12 years almost. So we have been gridlocked like this. And I just want to share my experience. This fragrance that I'm going to share today, it is one that I have had well, not this particular bottle, but I have been wearing this for a very long time you guys so i wanted to share with you my thoughts about the fragrance and this fragrance is chinatown and um this is the 3.3 and i think it's a 100 ml ounce bottle very beautiful bottle it has the signature bun shape all of their bottles are shaped like this they just have a different aesthetic or design on the bottle but this probably is one of my top five designs as far as the actual design of the bottle I just love the cherry blossoms and I love how it is versatile a pink background with white flowers then a white background with pink flowers very beautiful bottle and also the bun bottles you can do an upcharge and get Sawasi crystals or some type of special aesthetics on it, whether it's a big flower or some type of beads or something like that. And it's probably like an upcharge. I think it's like $75 or $80, but you can get that if you are interested in that. So this is Chinatown, you guys. This was released in 2005. It has been in my collection since 2010. This is not the same bottle. This is a new bottle. I think this is my second bottle yes this is my second bottle that I've had over a period of time and the way I do my reviews I share with you the fragrance notes I also tell you the longevity I tell you the projection and when I speak in terms of projection I like to tell you how long can you idly smell yourself without making a skin to nose or a clove to nose contact Projection to me is very important, even if the siage is very minimal, because I want to enjoy my fragrance just as well as some people think getting compliments is important. That's really not an important fact to me because the fragrance was bought for me. Yes, I do want my husband to smell it, but honestly, it's really about me, my personal life. And of course, I don't want to smell, but I don't care if, you know, people tell me you smell good or not, because guess what? I know that I do. All right, and I'll share with you the fragrance class as well as the brand class, and we'll just have some commentary on my thoughts and experience with this fragrance. So, starting with the notes. The notes in bun number nine are peach blossoms, gardenia, tuberose, patchouli, and cardamom. This is a floral, sweet, spicy fragrance. Um, I think that it is a year-round fragrance. It is one of my winter, cooler month, fall, winter florals that I really like to wear during that time. But you can wear them at any time of the year, in my opinion. The longevity on this fragrance, you get anywhere from 10 to 12 hours. This fragrance, it really sticks to you as well as your clothes. So you are going to get a long wear out of this fragrance. 
If I wear this fragrance starting my day off, I can smell this fragrance all the way through the day until the evening, until night, until I take off my clothes and get ready to take a shower for the night. So it wears, the longevity is very good. The projection is about six hours. So just idly sitting from the time that I, times that I have applied this fragrance, I can smell this well into lunch, well over lunch. If you start your day at seven or eight o'clock, you can smell this for quite a period without having to make that contact. Now, making the contact, the sniff contact, it's, it's all day. But just idly sitting, it's about six hours. The gender profile, it is recommended as a unisex fragrance. But me, personally, I think that it leans a little bit more towards the feminine side. I do think that this could be a very exotic or nice edge to mix with a more uh, male dominating fragrance if a male wanted to experience or wear this. Um, the fragrance class, it is an amber floral. The brand class, of course, is niche. I think that this fragrance, it has a lot of versatility. And what I mean by that, over the years I've had this fragrance, this fragrance, depending on how you apply it, whether you apply it lightly, um, moderate or just liberally however you apply it it determines the versatility of the fragrance and what i mean by that if i'm just wearing this to work or if i'm wearing it in a close-knit setting maybe to brunch or something like that you don't want to wear a very um, high fragrant or overbearing fragrance to particular places I do think depending on how lightly you apply this, it is still a very nice fragrance to wear in those type of intimate settings where you don't want to dominate the crowd. But I also think however you apply this, if you apply it liberally, very heavily, that this fragrance, it can serve as a date night fragrance. It can serve as a special event fragrance. It could serve as a girl's night out fragrance. It is just a very versatile fragrance and it depends on how much you spray. Um, there are other fragrances that does that, but this particular fragrance here, it's almost like it has a dowel on it. You know, like if I put a little on, it's good for this setting. If I put a lot on, it's good for that setting. So this is why this has always been a staple in my collection. The reason that I like it. This bottle here, I probably had this particular bottle. I had it before the pandemic. I know that. It still wears very well. There's nothing wrong with it. But I do try to care for my fragrances and um, a recommended or a suggested um with suggested upkeep by keeping it out of um, bright lights, keeping it out of the sun, and keeping it more in dark, closed places. So I do try to follow those rules. But the juice in here, um, I'm not really sure if there's an expiration date on it, but this right here has been serving me for quite some time. Um, I do like it because this is one of those fragrances. And of course, most of Bun Number 9 fragrances are like this, it has a very niche edge to it. And when I say niche, niche edge, it's just one of those fragrances that you just can't walk into um, your local department store and you're going to find something that's like it. I don't think I own anything in my collection that I can even say that this is similar to. It is a really nice floral fragrance, but like I said, it has that edginess to it. Me, I'm not a gardenia girl. I do not like gardenia. But what I have learned over the years with fragrances, and especially with um, researching them and just seeing what fragrance notes that I really like, I don't really like gardenia. But I do like the fact that this being paired with patchouli and cardamom, it really gives it that seductive sexiness that this perfume provides. So it is very unique. Like I said, I don't have anything that's floral that smells like this. It's one of a kind. 
I don't even have another fragrance in my bun collection that is similar to this. Um, you do get compliments, although that's not an important factor for me, but it will get you compliments. I do think that all fragrances are not created equally when it comes to us as fragrance wearers trying to wear it because everybody DNA does not complement different fragrance notes. And here in the community, we understand and know this. But this is one that I truly, truly like. This is a part of my top five bun number nine. And um, it's nice. So if you can get your hands on it or get a sample, do that first because that's how I started. I had other buns and my essay was always so good to me. She would give me other ones to sample, but it was just a hook to get me back into the store um, to purchase more. And I did. So it was all good because I like what I like. Again, this is bun number nine's Chinatown. And um, it's a great fragrance, you guys. If you have Chinatown, if you've experienced Chinatown, if you have any buns that you've experienced or you have any questions about that um, I could possibly answer. I don't have all the buns. I have a lot of them, but I don't have them all. Um, so please leave a comment below um, with any recommendations or questions. And I want to thank you guys for coming back to the channel. And do not forget you. Yes, you. You are great. Bye-bye.